Today on Sing Play Love, we're going to sing a very fun song about a frog. Sing. Play. Love. I'm Ann Meeker Watson, and I'm the creator of Sing Play Love. I want your young children to love learning, and we're going to learn some important skills today. We're going to talk about opposite words, and we're also going to give your children a chance to practice an important social emotional learning skill called patient waiting. We're going to stop our song, and we're going to wait until it is time to go. So you'll have a chance to practice that skill all day long once you learn these words with us. Frog in the Meadow is an old American folk song, and the original lyrics go something like this. Frog in the meadow can't get him out. Take a little stick and stir him about. I decided that we needed a much kinder and gentler version of our Frog in the Meadow song. So my lyrics that I created for us go like this. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? He jumps fast and he jumps slow. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? He jumps high and he jumps low. And the favorite verse, frog in the meadow, where can he be? He tickles you and he tickles me. We're going to sing this song with our hands and our voices because we're going to use some American Sign Language words to sign the key vocabulary. The great thing about signing is that we can sing the song by imitating motor motions before actually being able to sing the words. Singing is tricky. It requires coordination of the lips, the teeth, the tongue, and the breath, and remembering all of that vocabulary, all of the words in the song. So while we're learning to sing, we can sing it with our hands. And the first word is frog. Put your fist underneath your chin and let your pointer and your middle finger flick out two times against your thumb as if your frog legs are jumping. Frog. Do it again and say, frog. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? And we'll take our pointer and shake it back and forth like this. And our finger is saying where, as well as our face, because we're asking a question. Where did he go? So we're expressing that with our facial expression. He jumps high. So take your frog fingers and place them on your extended palm facing up. And you're gonna have those fingers bend and jump. He jumps fast and he jumps slow. And then we're going to practice our patient waiting. Stop. So this hand is going to chop down on this hand in one gesture. Wait a little while with a smile on your face as if to say, isn't this so fun? And then two pointers are going to point off into the distance where you want to go. Second verse. It's just like the first, but we'll change our jumping fingers. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? This time, he jumps high and he jumps low. He jumps high and he jumps low. And I've even changed the register of my speaking voice to match the gesture and the concept of high and low. The last verse is the most fun. We're going to start it just like the other two with our frog. Frog in the meadow, Where, little different, can he be? He tickles you and he tickles me. Let's sing the whole song together so that you can practice it with me and you'll be ready to sing it with your child. Show me your frog sign. Here we go. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? He jumps fast and he jumps slow. He jumps fast and he jumps slow. Stop. This is so fun. Go! Verse two. Frog in the meadow, where did he go? He jumps high and he jumps low. He jumps high and he jumps low. Stop! Go! last verse. Frog in the meadow, where can he be? He tickles you and he tickles me. He tickles you and he tickles
tickles me. When I'm doing that tickle activity with kids, I like to do what I call a tickle test. When I'm singing, I'm going to air tickle in front of my body and then air tickle myself. If you know the child that you're singing this song with, then you already know if they like to be tickled. But if you're tickling and singing with children that you don't know this about, you can simply observe them when you air tickle and see if their face communicates to you, I love tickling, I can't wait till you tickle me. Is it my turn next? But if you see the child give you an expression of, oh, I don't really want to be tickled, no thank you to tickling, then you're going to respect that and just do an air tickle for them instead. A great modification for our song is to give your child a chance to complete the phrase when you repeat it. So let me show you what I mean. When we sing, he jumps fast and he jumps slow. He jumps fast and he jumps you are so smart. You knew slow. You're really good at opposite words. You can also play a large motor version of Frog in the Meadow. Show the children how to move their bodies fast and slow, high and low. Now it is time for you to turn off this YouTube video and go sing the song with your kids. Have fun. Thanks for singing and playing with me today. If you're new to our YouTube channel, we hope you'll subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button and click on the bell as well so we can notify you when we add new movies. And if you have ideas for fun songs, skills, and stories to add, please let us know in the comments below. And if you loved our Frog in the Meadow song, you're really going to love our opposite songbook, available at singplaylove.com, along with all of the fun books, songs, short, and play-filled activities. I'm tall. I'm big. I'm small. Sing. Play. Love.